Okay, so in this video, I wanted to show you two of my low content books that are in the exact same niche, have very similar titles, but have different covers. And I'm going to show you the difference in sales right now. So this is the first book here, which was uploaded back in October of 2019. And as you can see, it's made a few sales, nothing spectacular. And overall, it's earned me, uh, so $40, 12 pound nine euros i don't know that's like fifty dollars or something now i want to show you one of the other books inside this niche that i made which is this one here now this one was uploaded i think it looks like it was two months after no one month after the first book and as you can see this one has made around seven hundred dollars just over seven hundred dollars okay so as you can see there's a quite a big difference in royalty here between seven hundred dollars and sixty dollars on the other book However, the changes between the two books were extremely minimal, but these changes were huge and obviously it helped me make a lot more royalty on this second book than the first book. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you what I did to increase the sales on this book. Now, bear in mind that what I do is going to be specific to certain niches. It won't be applicable to every single niche. And when it comes to using this tactic, of course, you have to use your brain slightly. Okay, so the only thing that I changed on the second book that I showed there was that I actually included a curse word on the cover. So my cover was a very simple black and white cover. Both of them were black and white colors. One had what I thought was quite a funny phrase on it. And another one had what I thought was a funny phrase plus a swear word. Now the swear word seems to make a huge difference in sales. And I've tested this across a few niches now. And it really does make a difference if you're happy doing that. Now, if you're making low content books, then my assumption is that you're probably happy to go ahead and put some of these phrases in. So I've just gone ahead and typed in, as you can see in the search bar here, and we can see that these books are all selling really well and they all have the same um, phrase in them. So even ones that have got one star, one star, two stars are still selling well. And it's because people like to buy stuff that's kind of I guess kind of edgy and if you go onto Amazon and do the same thing and you just type in planner then type in the swear word afterwards you're going to find a ton of different books now the thing is it's easy to come across and look at these books here and be like oh I can write one I can make a cover that says get that done like this one here does and this one says um, whatever that says I can't actually read it nurses get that done it's easy to come over to Amazon and just be like well yeah I can copy that and put that onto my book the other thing that you need to do is to make sure that your phrase that you put on the front of your cover is different to other people's. Now, mine was different to other people's and that's why it's selling well. And honestly, it's not that hard just to sit around and think for a few minutes like what you could change from this title here, for example. So get shit done, you could change that to time to get shit done. So just a slight change, you don't have the exact same thing uh, and it's gonna make a world of difference to your sales. Okay, so if you are gonna go this route with some of your low content books, then you do need to be careful what you upload having things on your cover like these people have done like get shit done and nurses get shit done is fine there's nothing wrong with that to put on amazon however there are certain things that amazon prohibits and rightfully so and what you want to do is to come across to amazon's terms of service when it comes to examples of products that they prohibit now i'm not going to go through all of this i can link you to it in the description but it is something that you need to take into consideration when uploading this type of book so things like sexism racism glorifying suicide um any product related to terrorist organizations etc etc then obviously you can't do and you will get kicked off of amazon if you do things like that if you do your research on amazon you'll see the type of things that you are allowed to do so if we just scroll through here so you know like getting shit done fuck this shit fuck this shit this is shit i need to do fuck this shit planner fuck this shit get shit done um you'll see the type of things that you're allowed to do and yeah don't go overboard with it just be sensible and you'll be fine and you'll make more sales on your low content books all right that is it that is just a quick tip on this video and if you think this has helped you then if you can go ahead and subscribe that'd be great i have tons more of content like this coming and very soon